Hey, it's Katrina from New Media Rights, and I'm here to talk to you about choices. As we go through life, we have to make a lot of hard choices. Coke or Pepsi, Jacob or Edward, Transformers or GoBots, and so on. Today, I'm going to tell you about one of these hard choices. Can you register your work with the Copyright Office yourself, or do you have to pay a lawyer? Well, the answer is, yes, you can register it yourself. I guess the real question is, when should you do it yourself, and when should you hire a lawyer to do it? Let's do this. In the last few videos, we've talked about registering your work with the Copyright Office. We talked about the extra benefits that you can get by registering over people who don't register. We also told you that registration only costs $35. Not too bad, right? As you probably know, filling out the Copyright Office's forms correctly can be time consuming in some cases, and you could get it wrong. The Copyright Office could reject your application, so you'd have to do it again, and again, and again. So are you going to just throw in the towel right now and hire a lawyer right now? Not so fast, mister. Lawyers generally charge about $100 to $300 for each registration form that they have to fill out in addition to the cost of registration. $335 is a whole lot of money for something that you might be able to do yourself if you follow some instructions. So the $335 question is, how can you tell whether your registration will be simple enough to handle on your own? Here's our rule. If you're registering a work that hasn't been published yet, and you're the only author of the work, then registration should be easy enough to do yourself. If you're registering a work that has multiple authors, or if you're registering a work that has already been published for a while, or if you're trying to use one form to register a lot of different works at the same time, then you may need a lawyer. Let's go through a few examples. Example number one. Let's pretend you're a photographer. Let's say you took a single photograph yourself. Go ahead and register this on your own. Save some money, not a problem at all. If you wanted to register a group of two dozen photos that you took over the course of the past three months, you could probably register those on your own. But some legal advice might be helpful because it could save you the cost of paying two dozen different $35 applications. Okay. Now imagine if you ran a business that bought a bunch of stock photography to use in your advertisements. Some of the photos have been published before in other places, and some of the photos are brand new. And now you want to register those advertisements that use those photos. That's the kind of more complicated situation a lawyer could definitely help you out with. Example number two. Let's pretend you're a musician. If you recorded an album by yourself at home and you played all of the instruments on that album, you could register yourself without much hassle. Don't worry about it, it's easy. Let's say you wrote some of the songs but had another co-writer write some of your songs. And then your band also helped you write and record some of the instrumental parts. Since you have to include multiple authors, you might require some legal advice to make sure you'll fill out the form right. But hey, this is something you can do. I believe in you. Here's where it gets complicated. Imagine you're under contract with a record label and your band records an album at a studio with a bunch of producers and engineers. Now you've got multiple authors and contractual obligations about authorship to contend with. At this point, it'd be worth hiring a trained lawyer to take care of this. Example number three. Let's pretend you're a blogger. This is the last one, I promise. You could register a single blog that you posted on your website yourself without any problems. No worries, mate. But what if you wanted to register a bunch of blogs you wrote over the past year for a website that you work for, and some of these blogs have co-authors? If you'd told me that, I'd beg you to ask a lawyer for some help. Basically, what I'm saying is this. If you want to register your copyrights yourself, you have to do your homework and make sure you know when you're in above your head. You have to read the copyright circulars. Google that. Those are the rules the Copyright Office makes that describe which forms to fill out and how to fill them out. Now that you've saved all that money by figuring out what you can register yourself, 
you should take some of that cash and donate it to New Media Rights. You can donate at our YouTube channel or over at newmediarights.org. Well, the answer is yes, you can. Register it yourself. I guess it was <laughs> awkward, sorry. <laughs> Try to have too much fun here.